Hello, it's Rob Cornish from Gain Higher Ground, and in this video, we're going to look at how to make sure that the emails sent by your WordPress site actually get delivered and don't fall into the spam folder, or even worse, get blocked completely by the likes of Gmail, Outlook, and other email clients. At the end of the video, I'm also gonna share with you a free resource, which I think you'll find really useful. So watch out for that later, but in the meantime, let's get started. Let's take a quick look at the problem first of all. Your WordPress site can send out emails for a variety of different reasons. For example, if somebody goes to your website and they fill out a contact form, you will receive a notification sent by your site. Equally, if a new customer signs up, they may receive a receipt or an invoice. They may also receive login details or a welcome email. Sometimes they've forgotten their password so they need to reset it and get an email back from the system to allow that reset procedure to occur. And there are other examples as well, but essentially there are numbers of different types of emails that can be sent out to either you or your subscribers and customers. And the problem, of course, is that these often don't arrive, not just go to the spam or junk folder, but actually just get blocked by services like Outlook or Gmail or other email clients. Now, the reason why that happens is technical, but intuitively it makes sense, right? Because with all sorts of millions of different WordPress websites out there sending emails, the trust factor is very low. And it's not really to do with the type of hosting that you have. This problem can occur on shared VPS and dedicated hosting. I know that uh, because this is exactly what's happened to me in the past on all of these types of hosting. So what is the solution to this? Is to have your WordPress site send all email through a third party server. Now the good news is that is not as hard to do as you may imagine. And I'll show you some of the basics and the tool that I use now. So here's the back end of one of my product sites. This has a, a few thousand customers registered in it. And you can see one of the plugins is called Postmark. And this is the tool that I use personally to solve this problem. So if we go into settings and postmark down here at the bottom uh, what we're doing here the key to this is checking this box which says send emails using postmark what this means is that any email at all from this website will automatically be sent using postmark and never from the wordpress site itself and it will always come from uh, support at gainhigherground.com, which is my main support email address. Now I have this set up on multiple different websites. So for example, you can see here on another site, I also have the Postmark uh, plugin installed. And if we go to settings, the configuration is exactly the same. I'm sending all emails from this site. If somebody resets the password, if they get emailed their login details, whatever, that always goes through Postmark and never actually from the WordPress site itself. Now, in order to do this, obviously you need to install the Postmark plugin, but you also need to set up a Postmark account. Now to do that, you can go on over to postmarkapp.com and the most important thing I can emphasize here is that Postmark is built for transactional email. So I'd highly recommend if you come over to their site and product and transactional email, that's this page that we're on now. And it explains what a transactional email is. So transactional emails are one-to-one -one unique messages that the recipient is expecting to receive. They are usually triggered by the user and do not require an unsubscribe link. So this is crucial. So if you started sending marketing emails or promotional emails, for example, using Postmark, you'll get your account banned. That might seem a little harsh, but of course it's a really good thing because it keeps the system so clean. And to the best of my knowledge, all of the emails that have been sent um, have got through to the intended 
recipient. I've never had a report from anyone, any customer at all, saying I tried to reset my password and I didn't receive the email. Now, pricing wise, I simply use the lowest tier they have at $10 a month, and that gives me up to 10,000 emails per month, which is more than I need. Uh, most of my emails are sent through Active Campaign as marketing and notification emails. So, mainly my usage is just password resets. Uh, so, I don't really have a big uh, requirement. But of course, when emails are sent, I really want to make sure, in the interest of professionalism and customer service, that they get through. Now that all said, Postmark isn't the only game in town. There are alternatives if you search around, one of which is WP Mail SMTP. Now this looks cheaper at uh, 39 bucks a year instead of $10 a month with Postmark. Um, although it's saying down here you can only have one site. Also, I believe this particular one is set up, really it's best used with third-party email senders like SendGrid or Amazon SES, SendInBlue and so on, which you'd also need to set up an account with. So you really, you can get the job done with a variety of different services. I personally use Postmark and I can thoroughly recommend it to you. Now, I mentioned at the beginning that there is a free resource, which I think you'll find really helpful. It's called The Hook Book. And this is all about making your competitors irrelevant and standing out in a crowded market. This is a toolbox of different techniques which you can deploy in your business to do that. It's completely free. And the link for that is below um, if you're watching on YouTube. Um, please also check out the links to uh, go over to my blog, um, all the other tools and resources. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel, like and comment. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Take care. I hope you found this useful. We'll talk soon.